Hey there. Uh, oh. Sorry about Shantae, that. And there's the game title. Mm, this is a standard edition, so it doesn't come with all the DLC. No, I got some of it anyway. And we're continuing from where we left off. Let's see, things we need to do. We need to find all the scrap metal. And we need to head over to the Mermaid Falls. I think. Sorry, I'm not quite sure. Now I'm gonna show you where the scrap metal is. Yeah, there's a couple items here. One of them is the scrap metal. Let's travel to Main Street. One of the scrap metals is here. We're gonna find it. Let's just look to the next area. Alright, the scrap metal is in this part of the area. Watch out for the fire, it hurts. I know, it's kind of shocking that fire can hurt you. Well, it probably wouldn't if you were a fire elemental of some sort. Fortunately, I don't think fire elementals are quite what Shantae is. Though some do say that genies are some sort of fire elemental of some sort. Anyway, you're probably wondering where the scrap metal is. Well, it's actually hidden behind... It's actually hidden. It's actually hidden under some blocks. As you can see, I'm playing like trash again. It's okay, we got lots of health anyway. Yep, this is flame up as a monkey. Alright, we're getting close to the area. In fact, it's right there. Yes, and you do need the elephant stump to get these. And there it is, the third scrap metal. Right, um... Nah, we're fine. It likes to save everything. Which is not too bad. Next area we should head over to is the Mermaid Falls because we can use the mouse power up to get some new stuff. I might as well show you some... Might as well try to show you that as best I can. Nah, I'm fine. Or at least attempt to, anyway. And one of the scrap metals is found right off the bat, right here. There it is, four of five. Wanna see the mermaid, dude? Sadly, we don't have the bubble for the mermaid yet. The bubble for the mermaid, it it lets you um break under like blocks underwater. We got an egg from that Naga? Yep, there are indeed Nagas in this game. One of them is a shopkeeper. Right, you see these things? See the maze-like structures on them that we can enter? Yeah, you can indeed enter those. At least the one if you find the light. Now I'm wondering how to get that chest right there. I probably need to 
Mermaid's bullet attack for that. And we'll have to navigate very carefully, guys. Actually, we just need a mermaid. And it's a gallery key. I know that doesn't seem like much of a reward, but if you get all the if it, get all the gallery keys, you can actually get an item that gives you unlimited magic. Yes, there's an item that can let you do that. Now let's use a monkey because it has better mobility. So it's not much on attacking. Another monster egg. Oh yeah, here's the maze that we can enter. Alright, we just have to wait for the mouse to show up. Let's try going that way. And there we go. It does take a bit to get anywhere, though. It appears I got bamboozled. It doesn't actually lead anywhere over here. Oh well, that's okay. It just means the recording will be a bit longer. And if you enter that light there, you can exit as the mouse. I'm kind of confused. Right, there should be another area where we can go with the mouse. Right over here. First, let's take care of this Naga. Mouse is kind of bad without the mouse bite, unfortunately. Which means we might be taking a bit of damage. From those things. All you have to do is avoid them, guys. The mouse bite does let you damage those things as the mouse. Fortunately, we don't have it right now. So we're gonna have to just avoid them. To avoid taking some damage. Right, and there's an area right there. He loves candy, and we can give him the... Yes, have some candy. You can have the lollipop, my man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then he gives us the light shard, which we need. Yeah. The light shard we do need. Black looks suspicious. Or at least I thought so anyway. We'll have to avoid those. They can hurt us quite a bit. Now let's keep going. Hmm. Go around as the monkey. The monkey can jump a bit higher, and it's a little faster than Chante's basic form. Hmm. Something we need. 
need to go that way and that way. Yeah, up here. Yeah, there's something else we can get. We'll have to be careful, guys. Looks like I'll have to go back again. No, I'm not feeling very well. Sorry about that. Out of my way, crabs. Yeah, there we go. That's how you get there. See, expert puzzle solving with me, your host, Sarah Speech. Avoid those things because they can hurt us. about that. Transform! Yep, we'll have to turn back into the bat, guys. I'm very sorry, this has taken much longer than I thought it would be. I thought it was right on point, but apparently not. Carefully, guys. Careful not to fall down. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get through this maze. Mm, I feel like I'm a rat in a maze. Even though we're a mouse. And there's something right here, actually. Let's check out what's here. It's another gallery key. Yeah, Chante, sorry, you wasted magic there. Or rather, I did, because I pressed the wrong button. I promise I'm good at this game, guys. Even though I'm kind of failing at it right now. I say as I fail at the game.
we're gonna have to Alright, we're heading in. Careful not to fall through. Like I did that one time. They mentioned I'm not very good at video games, guys. And there's a treasure chest over there. Don't worry, we got plenty of healing items, guys. And here we are. And it's a heart older. And that's good because it increases Shantae's health. And I believe you need the waterfall to get to that one gate. We'll use the warp dance to get to the next area. You burn those guys, the Techno Baron Grunts. They give you a stake. And there it is, the mech scrap metal. And that gives us all the scrap metals in the area. And that gives us all the scrap metals in the game, guys. Now, there is actually another area to this area, but we can't get there because we don't have the Harpy. The Harpy Dance is very important. And yes, you can... Mm. And the Harpy will be unlocked when we get to the next area. Anyway, let's use the whistle to get out of here. Yeah, sure, I'd like to save. Now we got the light shard, so we can go back and do more story. Of course, there's more stuff to do in this area over here. Now that we got the mouse, of course, we can go into mazes that were inside of that tower. And there's another sunken soul and another two heart containers and another two gallery keys. Anyway, let's head over to Tasseltown. Instead of talking about going there. I'm sorry about the telemarketers, guys. They spam us every day. Now, we don't need anything in this area. So we'll just warp to the next. And this is the guy that, after we got all the remains in this area, that he gave us the sick that we needed for the doctor. In case you missed that. And I can break these things by using the elephant charge. And I forgot which ones have the items that we need to get in them. Don't worry, it'll come back to me when we do it. Hmm. Yeah, the other fence is very powerful. And also knows as much... Sadly, I am not as wise as an elephant. As elephants are said to be very wise, right? Transform! Or at least never to forget. Yeah, that's it. Back it with the hair. Transform! And here's the first thing we can get. Right, as soon as I can do it. Transform! Yeah, the mouse does go in the mazes. Which is pretty amazing. It's like a lab rat. It's like a lab mouse. It's like a lab rat mess. These lab rats are kind of known for it. It's a bit hard to see on the screen.
Alright, let's look for another area we can break into. Jump, 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 jump. Here's an area we can break. Oop, wrong transformation. There we go. And we need a mouse for this. And there's a bunch of snakes in there. I know people like snakes, but most people like them when they're Nagas or Lameas or whatever. Or Gorgons. Seems like this area was kind of worthless. Well, we got uh, some gems, but... I already grinded up to get all the upgrades of the game, so it's kind of useless to get gems. Really? Now well, let's smash this one. Nope, got everything there. crush that for a little bit of extra gems. That's kind of useless. Don't worry, the snakes aren't doing that much damage, and we got the Dryad Dance. And the Dryad Dance, if you don't know, gives you oranges. And oranges are very useful healing items. You can claim the balls, it's pretty good, huh? Nope, not here. Maybe that one. Yeah, I think it's definitely this one. Yep, there's a maze here. We found what we were supposed to. Now there is a whole other area to... There is an upper area that we can get to, but we don't have the harpy. Oh. Mmm. Luckily, these mazes aren't very complex. Thankfully. I know how much people like mazes, but usually in horror games. There we go. Now let's get this. That's another heart holder. And that increases our health a little bit. Now you're probably wondering what the scrap metals that we got earlier are for. Well, later in the game, we're gonna give them to the Ammo Baron. And he's gonna give us an item that's gonna help us with the true ending. Yep, we're not done with this area just yet. I believe this one is the mouse fight. If the mouse bite it, lets the mouse attack. Which is good when you're inside the mazes. And there's enemies inside mazes. You can attack them. I realize it's... Not exactly all that useful right now. Where did that buzzsaw come from? I wasn't... I... Where it wasn't there earlier. Oh well. Now see this area up here. We can't get there yet because we don't have the harpy. And the harpy is one of the last dances in the game that you get after clearing the next level. Well, I think we got everything that we can get. 
Yeah, there's still some items there. Including the spider venom, but we need the bat sonar to get it. And I don't quite remember where that was. Yeah, let's head over to Scuttletown and continue with the story since we got the light shard. And the light shard, if you... Light shard is for the machine that Shantae's uncle is working on. Yes, it's for you. One piece. The end of the world. Hypno Baron. Yeah, he's a classic Shante enemy. I believe he was in the first game. Of course, I've never played the first game to completion. Yep, we got the Hypno Baron castle map. That's the next level. I know how much people are fans of hypnosis, but... I know how much people like genies and hypnosis, but... I promise it's gonna be a pretty fun boss fight when we get to him. Well, we might as well heal up here. The doctor's still here. No, I didn't want to go back in. Now, um, I think I'll stop it here. I'm glad I showed you where most- where all the scrap metal was. The next item we need to get for the true ending is the Sunken Souls. We can't get that without the mermaid bullet, though. To get the mermaid bullet, you have to give a hat to the Blobfish Grandma. Of course, the Blobfish Grandma will appear in town. Guess I'd like to save the game. Anyway, I hope you had fun, even though this was mostly getting items and stuff. Shantae's health is looking pretty good. And let me show you all the items. Yep, if for some reason you want to make Shantae's hair do less damage and go slower, you can use... You can use regular shampoo or super shampoo and regular silky cream and super silky cream, but I wouldn't recommend it. Metronome speeds up transformation dances. This this halves magic use, which is very useful. And of course we got the battle bikini, which reduces damage you take by half. The max attract, it attracts stuff to you like gems and hearts. Backdash, yeah, you can dodge. And of course there's the specials for the for all the transformations in the scimitar that lets you summon the scimitars, which was really good. Flamethrower, invincibility, super mega puff. Right, I should stop. Right, I should quit now. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll show you the Hypno Baron's castle soon in the next episode. It's gonna be really fun. It's also super spoopy in that castle, guys. And there are slime girls, we're gonna see those. <laughs>